Hey everybody, it's Josh D. Dozen here. I'm about to go shopping for my groceries. You guys want to know what it's like to be in Canada, shopping in Canada, and our prices and all those kind of things. I will be doing a little bit of snark on Dr. D. Dozen, but I'm not going to do a parody of her stuff because I can't afford to shop like that. Nor would I go into a store, load up 12 carts, and walk away. I wouldn't just do that. But I'm going to show you what it's like to be real. I know I don't have 12 kids, okay? I get that. But insanity, what she does. So. We're going to go shopping and show you my prices I'm going to show you the bag milk. I'm going to show you all the Canadian stuff that you guys don't have. It's going to be fun. I think so. But first, Ice Kathy. And you know I don't drink, so it can't be White Claw. So let's get going. today is we're going to go to Costco first. We're going to get our bulk items because we like certain things at Costco, quality stuff. Okay. Get all those things first. Second place we're going to go to is this box meats place is really, really good. They got some really just, just awesome bacon, chicken nuggets, like the really, really good stuff that I get there. Then we're going to head to the cheapo grocery store and finish off the stuff that my wife gave me as a list. And I haven't shopped in over two weeks because we've been on vacation. We haven't been at home. So we are empty of everything. So this is not a standard weekly sh shopping trip. This is like fall, start of school, everything shopping trip. Okay. All right. You with me? Let's do this. All right. It's pretty busy here today. It's Saturday. It's a Sunday before the holidays. So it's going to be a gong show. But I got my bags. I'm going to get a cart from over here. Yes, one cart is all I'll need here. Costco. Oh, go ahead. The one thing about Costco that, like, I get that they have nice TVs, but come on. Who's paying two G's for a TV? Get the same damn TV at Amazon for $3. So I usually start at uh, fresh food, like bread and meat, and then I move my way through the frozen. So. But I always go this way because I like to see shit that I'm never going to buy. These Mennonites are here. They're like, do we need a cart? You're at Walmart, lady. Yeah, you need a cart. You're crazy. Oh, but where's the automotive aisle? Hold on. So I bought this last year. Not too expensive, 500 bucks. And it broke this year. Literally one year and there's no warranty. So don't buy that, okay? Bought this one for the RV and I paid $8.99. Damn. Here's the thing though, everybody. When you buy a generator, you look at the starting watts and the running watts. That's what you get. Not that. That's a lie. They bold that, eh? Jerks. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, there's so much cool stuff here. Oh, how much is that? Not on my list. Not on my list, but dang, that's nice. 139. I might, man. I'm not even kidding, I might. I'm doing it. Oh, oh, oh. I need it. I shouldn't have gone down there, man. Okay. We don't do bottled water, but we do cat litter. So I'm gonna need a couple cat litters. Since we have literally four more cats at our house right now, and apparently Tyson is adopting the two kittens. So we're gonna need some litter. I wonder how Alicia does this with one hand. <clears throat> Holy shnikes. There we go. Two of those. So this takes me to the fresh aisle. So we usually, we usually get bagels from here, and the reason we do is because, but the only reason we don't is we don't need a ton of bagels, and these go bad really quickly because they're super fresh. And they go, they go moldy really fast, which isn't a bad thing. It means that they don't put a ton of preservatives in them. So, look at all that. Ooh, some corn. Delicious. You guys have strawberries? No. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. That time of year. Thank you. No worries. I hate going to Costco. Why do I come here again? Traffic jam. And then you have the people who walk around Costco who have like no idea that they're in people's way and they'll stop in the middle of it. And... 
They don't care. All right, here we go. Pre-made meals are good here. Thank you. First Everly's lunch. These baby bills. Always get chicken from Costco. Still cheap, still $7.99. And they're still delicious. Get our meat. Oh. Honestly, I don't know how she does this with one hand. It's crazy. This used to be $18, now it's $30 for, for beef. Isn't that crazy? $26, this is $26. There's our beef that rips still, dumb bags. Okay, let's just check out chicken. I want to show you guys this. So those boneless chicken thighs. This is a big bag. $30. Nope. <laughs> Go without chicken. So here's boneless chicken breasts. $31. We get ours frozen though. Those Mennonite ladies didn't grab a cart. <laughs> so funny. So here's the milk options. Chocolate milk's two, so much is this? Is it two, is it two percent? Chocolate milk that comes in these cartons, okay? Which we don't need. Two percent, three bags, there we go. Delicious, thank you. Delicious chips. Can't even eat them because I can't. So the marble cheese chain is $13.99, that's expensive. You do get 40 of them, so we'll get those. That's Everly's lunch. She does about one or two a day. She eats one at home from school. Go ahead. Shouldn't have got that freaking litter because now it's like, can't steer this truck, can't steer this cart. Wifey's things? I don't know if they're at this Costco because last time they were here, so these. These are amazing. Del Monterey breakfast burritos. Let's go. See, the fries here are really good, but not for $12. Give me a break. A bag of french fries for $12? Out of your mind. See, Weston survives on chicken strips and french fries. So we started getting him these whole wheat chicken strips. A little bit better tasting. He likes them and they're better. They get more fiber. It's not bad, 15 bucks. <clears throat> Always get Cheerios. Westy only eats Cheerios in the morning. Hope you guys find the super entertaining because it sucks. That's all the cereal we need. Because Everly eats egg whites in the morning, so big thing cheese whiz, $5.89. Everly. Here's the green lid craft peanut butter that is amazing. We don't need any because we got lots. But that jar, which is two kilograms, is nine bucks. But we don't need any. We definitely need ketchup, but we don't get it from Heinz. We get it from French's or the cheap grocery store. Because Westy's not picky about his ketchup. That's not bad. Three bucks for three of these, and these are the good ones. Wait, is this the good one? No, it's, this one's the good one. White linen. This is $12 for two. No, how many? We don't need it. Looking for seaweed things. Just normal, like, seaweed. So we find it. Here, this might be it. Kirkland organic seaweed. That's what's 
face on this. Fifteen dollars for seaweed. Uh oh, I think this might be the line up here. I don't. I'm trying to get to the snacks. I don't think I'm in line, but I think this might be the line. <laughs> Whoa. I guess I'm going to sneak over here. Sorry, there's a squeeze by over here. Excuse me. Sorry. Let's try to go through there. Sorry. Crazy. It's crazy. Uh, here we go. This place is insane packed. Can't get out of here fast enough. I'm just gonna go down there. I'm not in line. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Alright, snacks, snacks, snacks. I am sweating. Too many mouth breathers in here. Oh, this will be fun. Tyson likes these. Those are fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars. Oh yeah, I forgot about my tortilla chips that are down there. Ooh, I'm going the other way. I'm, ba I'm backing out. Backing out. I'm going the other way. There's no way I'm getting out of there. Just going down that way. Thanks. Excuse me, thank you. Oh. I watch your YouTube channel. Oh, do you? It's nice to meet you. I'm filming for the video right now. Uh, okay, so here's what we do. We get, we always get one of these. That lasts us about a month. That's a lie, a week and a half. And we get, uh, no, I'll get them in the grocery store. That's it, oh no. I'm gonna get in line here. <laughs> Thank you. These guys here. Dipped in chewy, $10.99. 48 bars. Peanut free, so they're good for school. Here we go. That's it for here. Leave the bulky items in there. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I buy five packs of them. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, my whole family. Eats them five yeah. I have to buy two of them. They'll be going away tomorrow. <laughs> They're amazing. I haven't seen. They're so good. All right, come back and get them. They're so good. That's why they always sold out. <clears throat> Did you? S yeah, there was a bunch left. Yeah. Look at this. Not even black. You see all the stuff I got? 371 for that. That's nuts. I'm not even half done yet. That's just my bulk items. Okay, Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. I'm in the Ford today because the Tesla's being repaired. The uh, wrap is being fixed on it. So here we go. I want my Tesla sticker. Let's do one of these. Watch how messy this is. When I realized why my uh, Costco grocery is so expensive, because I bought this for $140, so minus that off the bill, because that's not groceries. But it's very Alicia Dockerty. Oh, just throw it in the curdy. All right, here we go. This is my box meat's place. I love it. $10 for that. Come on. I think this is the same, though. So it's. Yeah, it's got the onion, the green pepper. Yeah, this is the same as spaghetti mix. Throw that in your spaghetti sauce, delicious. These are amazing. That's kind of 99, but they, we eat them for dessert and they're so good. So here are the McDonald's chicken nuggets. Wesley's and McNuggets Monster. 
they're not that big, but ten, eleven dollars for these. They're like McDonald's nuggets. They're so good. So I buy about four of these. Okay, we also get a uh, one of these cannelloni. It's twenty dollars, but that feeds us for two days. Mm. So good. I like this pre-cooked bacon. It's a hundred slices for thirty-five dollars. Mm, I'm gonna go see what it's like. What a big box is. Yeah, this kit here, sixteen ninety-nine for a donair kit. It's a really good actually. So it comes with everything you need for an East Coast donair, except for the onion and tomato. But it's amazing. Sorry. So here is a small beef tenderloin, $70.63. So I like this bologna. About $15 for a big, you cut it yourself and make bologna sticks. It's really good for uh, solutions. Here's a center cut bacon here. It used to come in boxes, but not anymore. So it's a big ass thing of bacon, right? It's huge. Seventy dollars, ten pounds of bacon, but it's center cut, right? That means it's cut from the center. Lots more meat on the bacon, but I don't need a big one like that. That's too much. So I'll get one of these hickory smoked center cut, forty dollars. It's about half. That's too much. We don't need that much bacon. Okay, I'm gonna go get the pre-made stuff. A decent sized bag. You get about thirty rounds for twenty-five dollars. Expensive, but again. This is the good stuff. And then we'll get the bacon. So it's $30 for 100 strips of bacon. And that's pretty good. That's why I come here. That's all I get generally. I don't go crazy. So everybody loves these. They're Saputo. They're not the ones made in Quebec. But she loves them. Everybody loves them. They're 10 bucks. That's fine. It's back to school. Cheesecakes. So, so, I ain't no baby. I'm taking everything in this car with one neck and hand. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> so that's all my, like, bulk frozen stuff, and we're about, we're at about $350. Okay, so now I've got the, I've got Costco bulk done. It's about $100 and... $130, $150. I've got, I got my box meat stuff done. That's $177. Now I'm heading to the grocery store to get like our main stuff, cereal, ketchup, hot dogs, all the things we buy at the grocery store where it's a little bit cheaper because we don't need to buy all that stuff in bulk. So again, remember, this isn't every week for us. This is like likely every two to three weeks we do something like this. So not bad so far, right? Last store we're going to here, the cheapo grocery store. $2.48 for a pound of apples. So each two apples is like close to a pound. So we'll get these ones. So these are Romo Gala, Ginger Gold. I think of these ones, they're really good. You guys out of strawberries? Out of strawberries? Yeah, they're all, they went bad. Oh, they went bad, okay. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Okay. Oh, they're not very good. Damn, they're tiny. Oh, these are good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, avocados, the whole bag of 3 98 It's not bad. Perfect. Sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. 
Give me some onions. Let's get the yellow onions. What the hell? Here. I'm just, you know what? I'm taking these back. I'm just going to drop a bag of yellow onions because it's 288 for the whole bag. I just don't want any rotten ones. I love onions. Oh, 1984 for that. I'm looking for pizza rolls. I used to have pizza rolls. I have pizza rolls. Well, I probably shouldn't be eating them anyway. Pizza wraps. They're called pizza wraps. When I was growing up, these things... When you just in a squeeze and something quick, these are so good. I don't know why they're so good, either. so good. How much are those? See, that's 10 bucks. That hasn't changed in price. 10 bucks. Okay. Bread time. I'll just like to point out, these cookies are the backbone of our nation. But we're not getting them today. There it is. Oh, yeah. Pumpernickel. Yes. And Everly likes, it, Everly's the only one that really eats bread in our house for breakfast sometimes. So we go Villaggio. What the f Dang, man. Villaggio brown whole wheat. She likes cheese whiz on that. Okay. Oh, excuse me, sorry. What's that? I know, right? It's getting a little bit crazy, even at this store. Dempster's breakfast. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the trick to opening an English muffin is to use a fork around the edges so you can lift it up and you get all those little nice nooks and crannies. Use a fork. I have this like really, really cheap shit. And that's $5, okay? But the pillars, which is like our local good meats. So remember when Alicia picked up that box for like six bucks, okay? This probably doesn't even have as much as that. And this is $7.49. Oh my god. Any cheaper stuff here? Good lord. Turkey breast and black horse ham mix. That's good right there. $7.50 for that. For this. Jeez. Again, minor inconvenience for people like me. But I can't imagine people who are living on a budget right now. I can't even imagine what they're going through. Here we go. Westy. $2.49 for a pack of hot dogs. He doesn't like Maple Lodge. He only likes chicken winners and he likes the halal ones. So I do about two of these and he'll go through that in a week. So the cheese that we get, where is it? Right here. $7.69, but it's really, really, really good. If you've never had this, damn. my snack. That's for me. I did buy Wesley a bunch of nuggets, but he also likes these Jane's Pub Nuggets. So for 700 grams, which is a pretty small box, $7. I only get one, because those are good for lunches. Oh, cheese on sale. Cheese on sale. Four hundred. It used to be 500 grams. You see 500 grams for these things. It looks like it's cheaper, but they just give you less cheese. A bunch of jerks. 100%. Here we go with the double. We do double, double. Coffee meat. That lasts us two weeks easily. Only Alicia grabbing four of those for herself. Unless her husband drinks it, which maybe he does. But now we need coffee. So who here? Chocolate milk in bags. So if you're Canadian, you can also buy your milk in cartons like this. We do not have any plastic gallon cartons of milk, but this is why we have bags. It's all bags, okay? And then when you're, there's usually around here, plastic milk jugs for your bags of milk, which I'm looking for for you. Let's see if they have them here. Usually kind of like on here, here, right? But I don't see them. But we're not doing that. Also, I know we have tons of orange juice at home, so we don't need orange juice, but I need to show you this. Our big bottles of Simply Orange, which is the good stuff, it's almost $7. Two of these, six ninety nine each. Again, way cheaper than going to Starbucks, big time. Yeah, 
Beverly likes the yogurt tubes. Three seventy nine for eight of them. That's crazy, right? That lasts about a week. Easily lasts a week. Oh, I should get popsicles, but nah, we don't need them. Okay, we got Everly here cheese already. Look at this. For Baby Bell cheese here, for the half size of the one you get at Costco, is $8.79. So that's why I go to Costco for that. Oh, sorry. Oh, no worries. $10.99 for a big old box of Eggos. It's not bad. Ooh, Kathy will like these. Tyson and Kathy will eat these. Sweet potato fries. I hate them, but they'll like them. First chance out uh, here. Westy likes these ones. The pup style. Buy two, get one free. So get pub style, and he, they also like the really crisp, I don't know what they're called, crisp fries. Oh no, these ones. These ones are super fries. Love these. Crazy cut. Here we go. Okay, Everly's lunch right here. He, she likes these things. These aren't the name brand ones, but they'll do. Ooh, $5.49. Soup is. That's for one can of soup, people. One can. I like sometimes they have Tim Hortons chili, and it's my favorite, and they don't have it. So, well. hey, to be super honest, we don't do canned goods a lot, and we have tons because we don't, we just don't. Although I do cook my rice with beet chicken broth, and I have some, so I don't need any. But it's really good. You, instead of using water, use chicken broth to cook your rice. Mmm. Delish. Okay. It smells like straight cigarettes butts in here. Ugh. I hate that when people walk around with cigarette butts in their pocket. Okay, so we like it's the lasagna one. This one? So good. I know it's so bad for you, but it's so good. Okay, so we have any, uh, what's it called? Risotto. We like risotto. How much is that? So even macaroni and cheese is two bucks a box. It used to be 99 cents a box. Risotto. Oh, there's too much chili. Four bucks. F off, jerks. Just get one. I'm the only one who'll eat that, so. Okay, Everly is into some of this. She likes the mini raviolis, which used to be 89 cents. Now they're buck 79. Two of those for Everly. This is $4.99 for four boxes. The cheapest way to go. So we'll get the Weston eats this religiously, okay? If you don't get this in the US, I think you do, but if you don't, you should try it. Elbow. Perfect. Oh, kids love these. That's a good, that's a decent price. Uh, should get two of those. Okay, they want Triscuits. Original. It's pretty expensive, man, not gonna lie. Original. Two bucks of those. Everly likes saltines with salted tops, but I ain't paying 430 for the good ones. I'm gonna get what are the no-namers, man? Salted tops. $2.99. Bigger than the bigger box. It should she won't even notice the difference. But also I need cheese and cracker ones. Here we go. These. Kids love these. Ooh. Two, three, four. Oh, here. Kids love those for their snacks and lunches. Perfect. Okay. I like, for my sandwiches sometimes, I do flakes of ham. Flakes of chicken, flakes of ham. Two for three bucks. Not terrible. Used to be cheaper, but I get two of those. And flakes of ham, jambon. Do they have any good ones? Flakes of jambon, two for two for three bucks, good deal. This stuff lasts me forever. I eat this maybe, maybe once every two weeks, so that'll last me a while. But Moisey says we need syrup, honey, and baking soda. 
Did I miss the syrup? Oh, right here. I'm gonna splurge. Get the good stuff. So, mom said to get apple boxes and orange. Apple and orange. Delicious snacks we should be looking at, Canadian style. Why is the music so damn loud, man? Is this a freaking disco or a grocery store? It's okay. That's nice. I'm supposed to fit through here. Great, Great placement. Alright. Wesley loves these, so two boxes of these. Each Grange breakfast bars, he loves these. It has to be these kind, can't be no name. For some reason, he knows the difference. All right, syrup, oh, there's honey. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. All right. Uh, dang, honey's not cheap anymore, man. No, it's Holy not. Holy Lipton, I'm gonna get my own bees soon. Yeah, that's what you almost gotta do. <laughs> my favorite, Quaker Maple and Brown Sugar. Okay, here's the trick to this, and I have to go get some cream. You just use one packet, do a little bit more water than you need, heat it up for two minutes, then you put whole cream on this bad boy. Damn, that's good. Okay, what did I say? Syrup. Syrup. Did I miss the syrup? Oh, there it is. Excuse me again, sorry. That'll, we'll go through that in about two weeks. Okay, I need cream. Oh, thank you. Can we warm around for Tyson for those things he wanted? Just straight up cream, man. I don't need a big one, though. Not, like, where's just a small one, man? So there's a small coffee. Ew, it's all open and shit. Is that the one? Uh, here we go. Ew, it's, nope. I'm not gonna put whipping cream on my oatmeal, so let's see if we can find something else. Where the hell is the cream, man? Just normal cream. This grocery store is balls sometimes. I need my cream for my oatmeal. Okay, so 5% cream, 333. This one's the no name brand, 288 done. 5% is fine. It'll be still, ooh, half and half though? No, that's lactose, nope. Yeah, that'll do it. So I just want to point out something here. So when she buys her shredded cheese, we don't even have bags that size. This is the biggest bag you can get. And it's, how big? I didn't say, where's the damn thing? 907 grams. So she can buy five pounds of this stuff. This is $10 for two pounds. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, they do have them. So this is what Tyson likes. He likes Bistro Crostinis. Two ninety nine for two. I'll get him like three of them. Or like not Philly cheesesteak. He just wants these ones. So there we go. Oh wait, there's pepperoni too. So I'll get the pepperoni one. There we go. Nice. Okay, there we go, everybody. Boom. Rice Krispies. Do you guys remember vanilla Rice Krispies? Damn, I miss those. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got everything we need. OMG, you can be 4999% less stressed with Kathy Lee Gifford. Is she still alive? What? Okay. I left in the car. <laughs> that was 241.15 for that. For that. Let's try. This thing broke. There we go. And again, remember, guys, this is not what we do every week. This is like 
the beginning of school, beginning of fall. It's a big haul. We didn't get toilet paper or anything like that, just food, okay? So that haul was $241.54. That's just regular. That was probably what we get every week for groceries, about $250. One of the box meats was $177, so already we're at, I don't know, three, four, four to 130 dollars at 130 so about 500 almost 550 dollars this week on a haul that's a haul for us that's like literally lasts us so long i know i don't have 12 people to feed i get that and look i know i don't have 12 people to feed i get that so even on her weeklies right if i do 240 dollars it also matters what you choose, right? You choose better food that helps a lot, but, and we have a cheaper grocery store, but it's way more expensive for groceries here anyway. If I were to shop for my family in the same town that she works at, I mean, my groceries would probably be like 150. I'm not even kidding. That's the, that's the extent of the price difference from Canada and the US for the most part. Um, so anyway, that's the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it or whatever. You're valuable and beautiful, and I am so proud of you. Now I'm gonna go home and not drink White Claw, but put these groceries away, cook some dinner. Let's do it. I love you.